Um, hey, this is Ellie from Magic Beans, and we're doing another interview. I'm excited about interviewing Runa from Evamove. Now, you may be familiar with the Nomi High Chair, which is their main product that they're known for. It's their their, their passion project. They love that product. So we have Runa. He's um, we're talking to him from Copenhagen. Pretty cool. And so, if you have any questions about the Nomi High Chair or questions about feeding your child or bonding with your family or anything like that, just drop a comment below on any platform that you're watching. You could always email me your questions to questions at the questions .com. And if you want to book a consultation with one of our experts and have us demonstrate the Nomi um, high chair for you in person, just like go to mbeans.com slash consultation. So um, here is Rune. Hi, how are you? Hi, Eli. Hi, I'm very good. Great. Despite the current situation, uh, the sun is shining outside. Tomorrow is bank holiday in Copenhagen, Denmark. So, uh, and holiday? it's afternoon holiday. now. What is that? Oh, is it, is it a holiday tomorrow? It's it's holiday tomorrow yeah, and Friday as well. So Great. it's a uh, it's a very good hump day we have today here in in yeah. Denmark. <laughs> in Denmark, yeah, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so the. Before we like go any further, um, you know, Nomi is fairly new to the United States. Um, you know, it's been around for a, a little bit now. But can you, before we get started, can you just talk a little bit about what the Nomi High Chair is? Yeah, as as uh, the name says, it's a high chair, but it's 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 also like a, a sitting concept, leveling uh, the family around the table at the same height because uh, uh, dining tables come in one height, kids come in, in many different sizes. And you know, dining, traditional dining uh, chairs, they come only in one height as well. And if you've ever experienced eating, sitting eating like that, you will know that it's, it's not good sitting like that. So liberating uh, the seat to ch children height will actually make a more relaxed uh, sitting fair around the table. And this is a very Scandinavian way of dining, whether it's breakfast or dinner or, or in between, actually getting level. So you actually learn to sit in the right way from the very beginning. Yeah, I, I knew as soon as I said it was a high chair that you would <laughs> <laughs> not like that high chair. It's not a high chair. It is a... Um, it's like a, like you said, it's a, it's a seating contraption, dining, a dining contraption yeah. for families. Exactly. And, um, and, and so before, like, we talk a little bit more about this high chair, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, how you ended up at Nomi or at, at, at Eva Move, and tell me a little bit about that, yeah. your story? Of course, uh, I have kids myself, now 11 and 13, but uh, nine years ago, one of my friends came to me and said he had this idea uh, about a high chair which actually seamlessly could grow with the child. And at that stage, my kids were sitting on a more conventional wooden high chair uh, designed by our uh, designer, Peter Offsweet, in 72, which, which could be adjust, just adjusted in steps, uh, in inches. Uh, but not seamlessly. And you know, no kids grow overnight, uh, five centimeters. Um, so actually this idea about a chair that actually seamlessly within a second could be adjusted to the child, I thought that was a very good idea. When I heard it was Peter Offwick, who was a designer, I said, that's a very good idea. It's a very good history. Um, Peter Offwick spent 45 years of his life improving his, uh, the famous and iconic uh, high chair, which is called Trip Trap, uh, manufactured by Stokey. Um, but he put 45 years of his life into the next generation high chair from his hand. And it was a great idea nine years ago. Two years later in 13, we actually launched uh, the Nomi high chair. I was in the board at that time of Evil Move. Um, I was partner in an advertising agency. Two years later, again, I skipped advertising business and went into high chair business. Mm -hmm. um, and um, that's the short story. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think that it's uh, just in my experience, um, you know, selling high chairs or helping educating consumers about high chairs for as many years as I have. 
is that, you know, I think that in America, people view, and I was the same way with my first child, right? I got a, a big plastic pig for high, um, high chair, it sit in my kitchen, you know, is the, um, is the tray dishwasher safe? Like putting Cheerios on, like that is like the concept, it's like a, it's a fixture that lives yeah. in your kitchen. And the whole sort of like Scandinavian concept of like how you dine with your child is really, really different. And there are just so many advantages to um, choosing like a Nomi product or like a Scandinavian style high chair because it is just like has so much more flexibility, correct? Yes, exactly. And it, you know, it's also a piece of furniture. Uh, it's actually, we have won a lot of design awards. But the ones which I'm most fond of is our consumers getting back with reviews to us. Because, you know, the kids, they cannot speak by themselves. They don't have a choice. When you buy a high chair, they act, they're not even able to speak. But of course, they can laugh and have a good time around the dining table. So you can actually feel, does your design actually interact with them? And you see that immediately when placing a kid in a Nomi chair, this feeling about the chair adapting to your body rather than your body adapting to a conventional non-adjustable high chair, plastics, metal, whatever it is. Normally it's, it's a piece of design, it's very, um, it's uh, organic in its shapes. Uh, there's no sharp corners, so you don't hurt yourself when bumping into it. Um, there's a lot of, of um, what do you call it? The magic is, as we say, is in the details. And Pete Austwick has spent 45 years of his life improving and making the next generation high chair with all his experience putting in to Nomi. Actually, there is so many details. So I could speak for two hours about Nomi. But then yeah, I, I would say you should make a cut down because yeah. the audience is, I'm a, I'm a geek into a yeah. high chair. We only do high chairs. We do not do strollers, frames. That's whatever we do the Nomi high chair and we do it globally. So uh, what, so tell like that it's, you know, to be passionate about like a car seat or even a stroller, like a crib, like that's like, so um, I think I see that a lot. I mean, that maybe I just, in a, I'm in a weird industry and et cetera, but <laughs> yeah. can you talk a little bit about why you guys are so passionate about high chairs and about ch ch child eating and feeding and dining? I think it's about uh, when needing a design, which is such a huge improvement, and you see the immediate effect, and you actually have the experience from your own children sitting on conventional high chairs, it gets into your blood. It gets part of your DNA. Uh, meeting Peter Opsweek, 80 years old, still going strong, has done many sitting des uh, designs, but only uh, you know chair designs because his whole vision is about making the world a better place to sit. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, it that passion actually ignites more passion. And you know, the whole Evil Move team has it in in their DNA. Um, we don't have a huge range or anything. We are into the details about one product, uh, and of course, it's a one product band but it plays good music, you can sure. say. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> now you could start the Nomi from newborn. Um, is, that, yeah. is there like a particular part of the world where that's like super popular? I mean, I think in America, the concept of using that type of, like that um, the part of the high chair like, evolution is um, not, not so popular. Or, oh, there you go. <laughs> Here we go. This is actually an infant seat, uh, which turns the high chair to a, uh, what do you call it, a recliner in US or an infant seat, elevated? Like a bouncer, like a bouncer. Yeah, a bouncer, but it elevated. It's away from the floor, not on the dining table because you're not allowed. In Europe, you're not allowed to put bouncers on the dining table because they bounce out yeah. and tilt. Um, so it lifts up the newborn to dining height. So you can actually have the, the infant, the newborn at your side, side uh, while dining with two hands and not with the kid on one hand and then dining with the other hand. So you actually get some, a good relaxed atmosphere around the table. 
Yeah, I think parents um, don't realize it's very this. very popular in Europe. Yeah, I think parents don't realize that. They come home from the hospital or they're, you know, they're new parents. They've never done this before. And they yeah. want to sit down for a meal. And, like, where are you going to put the baby? Like, are you going to put yeah. it, like, on the ground? Or are you going to, like, is one of the partners going to have to hold the baby while the other one eats? But if you had a, one of these, like, elevated sort of reclining newborn situations, you have a, like, you literally have a place, like, close to your body that's safe. Yeah where you can put the baby. And then of course you have that ability for it to just continue to grow. So, yeah. you know, you could, cause I know like the, like a nice baby or mouse is like $200, but there's like a very limited lifespan of that. And yeah. when you sort of like get a, like a Nomi type product that has that balancing capability, but then turns into a high chair and then turns into a youth chair, like you just get like so much value from, from that product. Um, the thing that I know about people, Opsvik is that he's like very into like footrests like footrests are like the thing like having your feet yeah. grounded um can you talk a little bit about the design of the nobi and how there was like improvement on the foot pedestal for the child yes as you can see here do you get it in the screen i can see nomi a little bit a, yeah nomi has a huge it's light so i can actually lift it even okay, though great. i'm not that strong but you can see nomi has a huge Foot plate, and the foot plate is actually uh, the floor coming up to child height because, as I'll demonstrate right away, all movement begins in the feet. If you have dangling feet, you're stuck. You get your veins closed, you get what you call, um, you're, not, you're feeling uncomfortable, you start yelling or screaming or, or crying. But if you actually have solid grounds, you have so many uh, nerve ends and perceptors on your feet that actually makes you calm. And also, if, if you're about to choke or whatever, you can actually, the natural uh, reaction is to stand up mm -hmm. to get it out. Uh, sure. And you can also see active sitting, like I'm doing here. What, what is actually happening here in my body? My muscle retracts, pumping out the blood around so it's not only the little one's heart who's supposed to make uh, everything going you can like, you get help from the big muscles in your body and mm -hmm. you stimulate your motorical skills um, furthermore it's it's a huge foot plate so you can actually step in and out easy rather than jumping up on a bumper seat or whatever risk mm -hmm. falling down you have a safe entry you can actually step on it. I'm standing on it now. You can't see it. Right. Step in and sit. It's open in the sides. So the child can actually leave and sit right ahead of the dining table. There's no side barriers. You can, the child can slide down rather than stepping up and risk to fall down. They can actually just slide down of the chair. Um, they can sit in many different ways. I'm actually turning the chair the other way around and having a sit in the opposite way. Uh, so, you know, there's so many sitting positions. And why is that important? It's because humans, they're not designed to sit static. We're supposed to move. So a chair that actually facilitates many sitting positions it's a good chair because the best position, as Peter Optwick say, it's always the next and the next and the next. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually moving, it's a very good thing rather than being pacified. Of course, we parents, we're only humans. We would like our kids just to sit still for sure. seconds. But pacifying them actually stresses them. And then they actually start to get pretty annoyed. If they are allowed to just move around and so on, you actually get a more relaxed dining sphere and kids spend more time at the dining table, get more food inside so they don't pop up 30 minutes later and ask for a new snack and a new snack. And when you yeah. have to go to bed, they want an, another snack and a glass of water. And, you know, we're all familiar with these sure. uh, situations. And, and you actually, of course, they're still there, but you having a good time around the dining table, actually, it's like, uh, gives you a good feeling. Um, and, and increases the intake. Yeah, 
No, totally. You know, you're, you, the way you're speaking, I, I interviewed Hannah from Love to Dream. They make a swaddling product. And the way that she was yeah, talking know, about yeah. uh, her invention of that Love to Dream, the swaddle up, is yeah. really looking at the way that babies are in nature. Their movement, yes. their, and, how, and creating a product that really meets the baby's needs sort of naturally. And hearing yeah. you speak about the Nomi, it sounds like very similar, right? We could create a high chair and then have the child try to fit the high chair, or you can create a high chair that is really geared towards the ergonomics of a child's body. And as they grow and as they, and all, and kids are all in different shapes and sizes, and especially a product that kind of like grows with a child, you could use with a toddler, you could use with an older kid to be able to sort of have a product that sort of just meets their like physicality is you know, just something that I just I really never really thought of and that's pretty cool yeah but you know in regards to love to swaddle it's it's about sleeping and have a good sleep and when you're supposed to sleep it's very it's natural for the child to be swaddled up when they are awake it's natural for them to move around and exercise and improve your motorical skills so yeah uh, it's just about looking at kids and the human body and say what is actually stimulating at this time of day or whatever you call it it's uh, it's pretty logic it's not rocket science or anything but when you look at the industry it seems pretty conservative um, there's not so many logic uh, products out there of course there are and there's so many there's also passionate brands but there's also lots of products or whatever we can call them which uh, you wouldn't miss if they were gone tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. where, so the um, Nomi is so like I said, it's started in Denmark and then it sort of is growing. It's now in America. You know, where do you see like where would you like to see the the company go? Like what are what are like some of the challenges that you that you're facing right? You know, besides the global problem that we're all facing right now. Um, tell me, can you give me a little insight into like what your vision is for where the Evo Move is going or where Nomi is going? I think uh, we will still be a one product band within the next years to come as well. Uh, uh, there's such a huge potential about this whole dining sphere um, in private homes as well as in kindergartens and so. I'm only focused on one thing, that is actually getting so many um, baby uh, behinds, bottoms, whatever you call them, yeah. seated in a Nomi and actually make them uh, feel the Nomi experience. Um, and, you know, Pete Oswick's first chair took 15, 20 years before it got traction. We are only seven years old. Mm -hmm. We are the most awarded high chair in Europe. Uh, by several independent consumer boards, uh, the whole European community's uh, safety boards, that's government, 28 uh, safety representatives has actually awarded, awarded us a product safety award. It has never happened before. Uh, we were the only high chair qualifying. Um, so there's still lots of work to be done. Also remembering that our uh, primary target which is the infants, they don't have a say themselves. We have to convince their parents. Um, so we gotta keep on working and you know, it's, it's like a movement and it's a, it's a sitting, active sitting movement we would like to fuel and amplify. And that is truly an ongoing uh, job because most people, they would actually like to sit soft and relaxed and like, you know, lean behind. But actually, you are supposed to sit upright. Now I turn my side to, towards you. Carry your upper body to get a good sitting posture, because okay. then you won't have back problems later in life. But most of us tend to sit like that, round, uh, back, and yeah. So it's there's so much to do, um, and um, that's why we also attend shows. Not at the moment. But we gotta go out there and tell the story that it's not just a high chair, a high chair 
is actually a sitting concept. And, yeah. you know, getting the right habit in from you're able to sit uh, along the dining table, is, it's a gift for life. Uh, and when you look at the price tag, tag in that comparison, it's the best investment, as our uh, customers say, they, they've ever done in the baby category, accessory category. Mm -hmm. um, no, that that's absolutely true, and um, I mean, I'm I'm sold. I mean, I <laughs> I'm not planning to have any, <laughs> yeah. any more, any more ch yeah. children, but I think yeah. that you know, I just learned a lot from from you today. Thank you so much yeah. uh, for taking the time and uh, for your passion. Yes, tell me one more thing. One more thing. Let's I just have one thing to say to your audience. This is <laughs> Nomi speaking, uh, and you know it says one. Uh, it's a Nomi is approved to 150 kilos. I would just say, go down to Magic Beans, get the Nomi experience yourself, because Absolutely. then you're convinced what is the best for your child. Um, yeah, that's about it. And uh, we are here, we are online, we are on social media, you are too. So feel free to reach out. Yeah, uh, feel free to reach out to Runa. Thank you so much. Um, uh, follow Evamove uh, Nomi um on social media and we'll put the links um in uh, below yeah. wherever wherever yeah. you're watching this yeah um, you can buy uh the nomi um seating experience at magic beans and on mbeans.com like i said if you want to do if you don't live in the boston area and you can't see it for for yourself uh, book a video consultation and we will through zoom show you every nook and cranny of this product um again yeah. if you're watching this and you're looking for a high chair because you have a child of eating age then you should you know, obviously take a look but also like you saw you, this can be used from birth so this is a product you can put in a registry um if you're thinking about like a baby bouncer you may want to think about a nomi as a place to start which again it turns into a high chair and then it turns into like a child seat so like it grows with a child over 300 pounds 150 kilos so you can do all of that stuff so again check out mbeans.com um, and if you like this video uh please give us a like and please subscribe or like today uh thank you so much for your time today runa I, it's really nice to meet you and um have stay safe and i'll we'll talk soon take good care over there